need to talk about something. Something happened on Canary Islands about 600 years ago. Something that nobody tells you about. This was the land of the Guanches, a Spanishization of the term Guanachinet, that literally means person of Tenerife. But here, every island has their own people with their language and culture. Here, on the same beaches hosting 15 million tourists per year, took place one of the very first genocides in history. The inhabitants most likely were Imazigan, Berbers, settling these islands starting from the first millennium BC. They were known long before Spanish colonization by the Romans, Phoenicians and Carthaginians, for instance. Around the end of the 1300s, Europeans started raiding the islands, mainly for looting and enslaving people. Lanzarotians were already heavily decimated around 1402, when Spaniards actually started colonizing the island. It took them until 1496 to conquer all islands. The last of all was Tenerife, and already in 1541 it was written by visitors to the islands that it was very difficult to find indigenes still alive. At the end of the century, the ethnical cleansing was complete. Only very few people of mixed descent were still alive. The colonization of Canary Islands, coupled with Madeira and the Azores, which were the main engines for enslavement of the Guanches, became the blueprint for European colonization. Destruction of home, abduction of children, ecocide, and the destruction of the entire ecosystem. It's very hard to find the very few historical places remaining today, and a couple of statues of traditional rulers and museums are not enough. This is called the Casera. In 2018, we found out that this is not what they thought before. They thought that this was used to make cheese, but that's not the case. This is an ancient calendar. The Guanches of Lanzarote used this to know when the months were starting and when they were ending, and of course also when you had the beginning of a new year and the end of the same year. Now the problem is, this is very interesting, we don't know much about it, and as you can see we're basically in the middle of almost nothing, although on that side there's Arrecife, which is the largest city in Lanzarote, and behind the hill over there, there's, well, a landfill. And to get here, basically, this wasn't almost anywhere. You had to know that you had to come in this area and that this was here. Then you get just a sign over here, a very small sign on a kilometer on the trail to get here. Anyways, there isn't much to do about this, considering that no alive descendants of the Guanches remain alive today. And so whatever we do would be just to remember and start considering at least one of the things that we did as Europeans in the past, a bad thing, one of the bad things. In fact, the destruction never really stopped. Canary Islands are considered Spanish, and even today, the memory of the Guanches is still actively destroyed, erased, and forgotten. Many sites are not protected. They sit on private properties and are not really accessible, and objects are stolen or lost. So at least, next time you come to the Canary Islands, remember about the Guanches and about the genocide that took place here.